Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can change an image on a smartphone using GIMP and I'm going to be using two images this one and this one over here and what I want to do is take this image and put it on the screen of the phone here and the first thing we need to do is to measure the screen here so we know how much we need to scale down this image so I'm going ahead and grab the measure tool and zoom in I'm holding down the control key and turning the mouse wheel forward zoom in at the edge of the screen here just click and hold down the left mouse button and drag down also I can hold down the control key then I'm going to uh, scroll the mouse wheel backward and then just move in like this and this time scroll it forward so I can zoom in I'm holding down the control key this will also restrict the angle I'm going to get a straight line like this and just mouse over here release and down here in the status bar you can see the number of pixels the height is 385 pixels so this is the information we needed to know I'm going to press the escape key to remove this measurement then make this there visible and select it then I'll go to the scale tool click on the image make sure I click on this chain to keep the aspect ratio and change the height to 385 pixels click enter then click scale the next thing I need to do is position the image over the uh, phone screen so before I start moving it I will adjust the opacity I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit so we can see uh, the screen of the phone also and grabbing the move tool I'm going to grab this and position it like this and we need to go in further again zooming in and adjusting the image then once I get the uh, height right I can just hold down the control key click on the image hold down the control key this will restrict my movement a little bit and just adjust this on the horizontal and I think this looks good you can see what's going to be visible on the phone screen let's zoom in again to see if we didn't go outside we did not so we're good to go I'm going to reduce the opacity actually increase the opacity back to 100 and make this layer invisible from now uh, for now by clicking on the eye icon and select this one to make it active then I'll go over here and select the crop tool then zoom in holding down the control key turning the mouse wheel forward zoom in click and drag like this to start a cropping frame adjust it over here zoom in to adjust it to over here zoom down here to see what's going on and it's kind of dark you can't really see but I think this is the edge of the screen now going back to this layer and let's make it visible again and select this option on the crop tool current layer only this will crop only the layer with the above image so just click here and now we see how this look I'm going to click on the bottom layer just to uh, view it without the layer boundary you can see how the image looks now now to make it look a little bit more realistic we need to apply some uh, shadows at the edges of the screen and there's a couple of ways uh, there are a couple of ways to do this one is to uh, use a brush and the other is to use a blend tool let's see how a brush will work I'm going to select the top layer and click this option to duplicate it then I'm going to check if it has an alpha channel right click on it if it has an alpha channel I'm not going to be able to select this if it doesn't make sure you click to add an alpha channel then just press the delete key this will delete all the information from the layer and this way we will be able to use it to paint uh, the shadows on it next we will grab the brush and adjust the opacity to something like this maybe around 20 
check out the size increase the size a little bit but not too much and then we can start painting on this layer not on the layer with the image but on the top layer which is just filled with transparency you start painting like this and you see this is too much so I'm going to press ctrl Z to undo and change the opacity to around 10 and start painting like this and this looks better so this is one of the ways to do this to add a little bit of shadows on the edges of the screen another way to do this is I'm going to press the delete key on this layer to remove what we painted and go to the blend tool here and I'm going to change the gradient to foreground to transparent then I'm going to change also the shape to radio and if I click here and drag like this you can see what happens I'm going to click ctrl z to undo this in order for the uh, darkening to happen around the edges we need to click this option here to reverse so it's going to start with transparency or and move towards the black area or if we keep it like this we can still use it but start from here but actually it's not going to work because um, the darkening happens from here but it's a radio gradient so our only option is to choose this and to start with transparency and move on towards the black hour so let's use ctrl z to undo and now try this from the center here and you see how this looks now we can control this by going further outside of the screen and you see now we have less darkening and also we can further control it by changing the opacity so you can see how this looks now let's try one more time control z to undo then go here and go a little bit more outside and then reduce the opacity a little bit something like this and click here to view it without the uh, layer boundary and just check before and after and I think this looks better with a little bit of shadows around the edges so let's see the before and after this was the before image and you see here how we have uh, these shadows around and this is after so you can go further again like I said with the brush tool you can experiment here and add a little bit uh, more shadow if you want to there is plenty of room for experimenting and uh, getting it to look the way you want to so that's it for this tutorial I hope that it was useful and if it was make sure to visit my channel for more tutorials and if you are new to subscribe that's it for now bye